look at how smoky it is out here. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it is super, super smoky. I am just plugged up, like can't hardly breathe. The good news is, two pieces of good news today, is that my transmission is done. So if you haven't been following this, the transmission that I had put in the car originally kept getting stuck in gear. And it would feel like it was in neutral, but it would just be stuck. And I knew that there was this detent missing because there was a guy that talked about it online and this guy is a genius. And I was like, that's gotta be the problem. And nobody else is really having this problem, but when you take these apart and you put them back together, there's this small little part that goes in between the gear shifting rods to make sure that it doesn't go into two gears at once. And this guy that took it apart, because it obviously had been taken apart before, did not put that detent back in. So that's the good news. So we're not gonna get stuck in gear anymore. The transmission's rebuilt, it's got new bearings, it's gonna be almost like new. And then, the second piece of good news is that the wheels are done at powder coat. So we're gonna be able to go get the wheels, put the tires back on, get the transmission, we're gonna be able to get this car put back together here. We should be driving it maybe by the weekend, I'm not really sure, just a couple days here, I should have everything put back together. I can't wait to get this thing done. I did not think I would get it done before it snowed this year. The leaves are falling, it's definitely fall right now, but I'm gonna get a chance to drive it. Let's go pick all that stuff up right now, we'll get it put back together and go for a ride. Let's go! We're here at German Transaxle to pick up the Porsche Transaxle. It's all finished up, we got it rebuilt. They're gonna meet me out here, so it's all ready to go. And you guys put the gear oil in it? It is full. All right. So I don't need to do anything. I just put it in and it's ready to drive, right? Yes. You can see the, the quality is not the best versus just the, the quality of the original ring and pinions that were molly coated. Okay. This one's not. Just the quality is not good. And the other one looked okay, so we didn't yep. need to replace it. So okay. I just reused it, yeah. Okay. So we had to weld almost that hole up. Then I took it on the bridge port, counter drilled it, put the threads back in it, so we saved it. But okay. whoever had that out last time cross threaded it. But it was worth saving. What do you think of this shifting I kit? Think that, I think that looks fine. That wasn't it, the issue. Yeah, no, it worked great, so. It was the, uh, the detent missing in that middle rail that we caught. I knew that was, that had to be it. It had so. to be, I mean, it, well, I'm super glad that we found that out at least. The peace of mind of just knowing that that's not going to happen again, I'm not going to get stuck somewhere, is worth every penny, I think. Yeah, and this is a good training. I mean, all the parts are, are really decent in it. Backlash, preloads are all set now, and it's going to be it's going to be a good training. I mean, the synchros were had quite a bit of wear on them. Uh, when you're seeing shiny spots like that, that means the molly coating's gone. And so the grip of the synchros were going away. Gotcha. These look original. So you can really see it on that one. Somebody had to have taken this apart to drop that, the detent, right? Yo, yeah, yeah, it's been apart, but they didn't change a lot of stuff. <laughs> Probably just fix what needed to be fixed and yeah. lost that. And put it back together. I have your phone number. Is that a good number to send pictures to? Yeah. Okay, I'll shoot some. Uh, pictures too of the new synchros and new bearings that are internal that you can't see awesome all that stuff so you'll have that as well but cool thanks for doing that i appreciate yeah. that that's cool thanks man i appreciate the business look at this thing oh so beautiful she's such a beauty oh my gosh it looks so good ah oh, even just the little details like the plugs they painted them blue and these caps that were all disgusting and rusty. They cleaned all that stuff up. They painted the black on this thing. So it really looks factory. So there's a little mounting bracket that mounts right up here on the cross member up there that go, it, it mounts to the actual mount. 
There's like a rubber mount that sits up here. Now we got that bracket in there. We're ready to put this thing in. This very carefully. Try to line that up as close as we can to those bolts as we move this in. I'm gonna go right up over that guy. We can get it right up over the axle there. And now we're gonna <clears throat> go in. We've got our shifter linkage sticking through right there. Okay, we're around that. We can push that in. checklist here real quick and make sure we got everything that we wanted to get done done here so right up here I have my top bolt I've got this bolt these have both been tightened we have the axle bolts are all tightened here so these are all done I got my wire plugged back into the transmission here I got these two bolts up on the top here that hook into that rubber mount those are in and tight um, I've got my drive shaft connected right there. I don't know how well you can see that, but that goes through. And there's a little bolt on each one of these holes that you put in, and then that tightens that drive shaft down. And then we've got our two bolts here. One here, oops, I just killed my flashlight. I think I did, oh, there it goes. I got this one, and I've got another one right up here on top. See that start working flashlight and then that one and then we've got our linkage up here that you can see there's a bolt right here that we had to tighten up i think it's right yeah right here we had to tighten that one up and get this linkage piece put to back together and it looks like it's fitting pretty well and it's doing well we got all of these bolts tight here and we've got yeah, we've got a transmission. This washer needs to go back in here on this thing. And then this needs to go on just like that so that there's as little movement in this washer as possible. Nicely done. So we'll go ahead and tighten that thing up, bend those guys over. And put that boot on so that's in there really good that's tight i'm happy with that we're gonna put this boot on and this one just goes around the edge of this little allen key right here that we're gonna tighten up once we get it in there you can see that that little allen key right there kind of pinches in there's another one on this side and those are designed to kind of pinch in on this so that it won't come off <clears throat> Okay, now you can pull on that thing and it's not going to come out. So, kind of push all this back down. This thing just clips in like that. Oh my gosh, we're getting there, you guys. All right, we got it in, we got it buttoned up, and everything is tight. We've got all the bolts on the bell housing tight. We've got the drive shaft in, and it's tight. We've got the linkage hooked up, and it's tight. And then we've got all the axle bolts in, and they are tight. We've got the motor mount in the back that actually hooks to the cross member. That's in, everything's tight there. So this thing is really ready to go. The only thing that we're missing is the wheels and the tires. So in my next video, we're gonna get those, get those installed. We're gonna do a little suspension work and then we'll get to that video then. If you guys like this content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button if you wanna see more content like this and you will see me in the next video. Let's go.